Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Tuesday with Tom. My name is Tom, and my special guest with me today is Rocky the Penguin. Rocky's hanging out here in our beautiful panoramic window, our largest habitat here at the aquarium, and it is time for Aquatunes, songs that I've written for and about uh, the Florida Aquarium. We want to thank our sponsor, CIBC, for helping us bring you this C-SPAN every Tuesday, uh, or sorry, every weekday, uh, and at uh, 10 o'clock a.m., as we bring you a little insight into the aquarium while we're all sitting around at home. We're happy to be able to do that for you. Now, this song is driven by, or this uh, program is driven by you guys. We want to hear your requests, so if you've got a song you want to hear, an, an, uh, an animal you want to hear a song about, put that in the comments. Whether you're watching live or you come back and watch it later, you can go ahead and put those comments on. Tomorrow I'll look through all the comments and I'll see what we got and I'll pick songs for the next uh, performance. And uh, if I don't have a song about that animal, I'll write one like I did this week. And we've got a world premiere uh, coming up uh, in just a little bit. First of all, we're going to start singing about jellyfish. This was requested by Michelle. And this is Moon Bay. We've got a beautiful habitat here. When you come back, make sure you come to Moon Bay and touch these wonderful jellyfish, the Aurelia aritas. Here we go. It's lovely to be beating you, the coolest jelly I've ever seen. Twelve inches wide, just the mouth inside, and you're floating all alone like a queen. I want to see you up close, tell me where to go, tell me where the jelly's gathering play. And if I close my eyes and I listen hard, I can hear all the mermaids say. You go to Moon Bay, what you say, go to Moon Bay. with the mad assists but your skin is like armor it can handle their drama you won't feel it when they give you a stick so don't be scared now that you're prepared you can go where the bravest go so that's a march in time and lift your voice in rhyme and sing with the mermaids below and go to moon bay what you say go to moon bay what you say go the thumb so you know they can't text the tweet but they are beautiful they are totally cool floating in the open sea and you can be a part let them in your heart help them stay well and free one more time go to moon bay what you say go to moon bay what you say go to moon bay what you say where the sky is dark and the chill is all glow like the So thank you for requesting that song, uh, Michelle. We're now going to go to one of my favorites, one of Rocky's favorites too. This is requested by Robin. This is Octopuses. Octopuses are quite clever. They've been seen using tools. So keep your eyes on those cutie pies and don't take them for fools. they got lots of cool defenses, camouflage and squirting ink. It's really weird they can disappear before you've had time to think. Octopuses, 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 octopuses. If you've got a bunch, you don't say octopi, not octopi. Octopuses, 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 octopuses. It takes them half an hour to wave bye-bye. Because they got eight arms. Get it? Oh, we call them octopoda from the family octopoda day. And hold the phone. So they're invertebrates. They've got three hearts inside them. They pump their blood is blue. They have eight arms. Don't be alarmed. They don't want to hug you. Octopuses. 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 
is. If you've got a bunch, you don't say octopi. Not octopi. Octopuses, 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 octopuses. It takes them half an hour to win bye bye. Now octopuses are great hunters. They eat lobsters, crab, and shrimp. And on a lark, they might eat a shark. Octopuses are not wimps. So the moral of my story should not be a shock. I think except the bobs are really odd, but they so totally rock. Hey, octopuses, octopuses, octopuses. If you've got a bunch, you don't say, don't you dare say octopi. Octopuses, octopuses. It takes them half an hour to win. Bye-bye. There you go. Nicely done, Tango. Yeah, I can hear you singing, too. You sounded really good. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you again, Robin. All right, so uh, two weeks ago, well, last week, I don't know. These weeks tend to blend together, don't they, guys? Yeah. Well, uh, we did a pre- it was just last week we previewed a pre- pre- premiered a brand new song uh, about the Goliath grouper. And uh, we had a podcast uh, uh, tuning in called The Sunshine State of Mind. And they gave us several great shout outs. And so we're giving them one here. And they wanted to hear uh, a song about groupers. So here we go. This is Goliath Grouper. Scuba diving off the coast of Belize when I came across something that I couldn't believe. It was massive. 
acid coming at me from out of the blue. At first I thought it might be a whale, cause it was 41 feet from nose to tail, but then I saw not one dorsal fin, but two. She was covered in spots like stars in the sky, with the two spiracles behind her eyes, white on the belly up top, she was gray and dark. With a big old mouth close to six feet wide, three prominent ridges going down her side, I knew I'd finally met a whale shark. Whale shark, whale shark, biggest fish in the sea. Whale shark, whale shark, swimming so majestically. Well, she came up close, and to my surprise, she opened up her mouth and let me look inside. I saw 300 teeth that she used to fill her feed. I was in no danger, why? I'll tell you. Humans aren't on the whale short menu, they eat tiny plankton that we could barely see. I could have reached right out and touched her fin. I thought, hey, grab a hold and go for a spin. But I knew better than to touch an animal in the wild. So I held my breath as she swam by, and for just a moment we were eye to eye. And if I didn't know any better, I'd swear she smiled. Whale shark, whale shark, biggest fish in the sea. Whale shark, whale shark, swimming so majestically. Well, we swam together a few minutes more, but I didn't want to get too far from the shore, so I knew that it was time to say our goodbyes. But I knew this story must be told about a fish I met nearly 80 years old and how I felt so small, dwarfed by her size. And how we swam together peacefully. I respected her and she tolerated me, and all that day, well, I realized some things. Like how this endangered species must live on there illegally hunted and that's just wrong So come on and join your voice with me and sing Here we go! Whale shark, whale shark Biggest fish in the sea Whale shark, whale shark Swimming so majestically One more time! Whale shark, whale shark Biggest fish in the sea. Whale shark, whale shark. Swimming so majestically. Swimming side by side with me. There you go, whale shark. First time I've ever performed that one, and that one was for Isaac. Awesome. All right, now we're going to bring out my capo, and for those of you who have not met my capo, this is my capo. It looks like a shark, and I'm pretty excited about it. And what it does is it just kind of changes the key on the guitar and makes it you know, a little bit different sound. And we use this for a song about the clownfish, requested by Leslie. Here we go. I'm a little clownfish, and I live in an anemone. You may have heard of Nemo, the Perculus, the species, all in the phylum Chordata, and the family Pomacentridae. But you can call me Pomfish because that other stuff is hard to say. And remember, anemones are enemies, they're where we raise our families with all of the amenities that we could ever hope to see. Never thought a fish like me could be as cool as cool could be, and basically be ruler of the reef.
And remember, anemones are enemies. They're where we raise our families with all of the amenities that we could ever hope to see. Never thought a fish like me could be as cool as cool could be and basically be ruler of the reef. Let me tell you, I didn't go on in the sea. I'm about to see an enemy. I'm hiding this will be the few and predators are chasing me. I just live it beautifully. I'm hiding camouflagically. Look at me, I told you I'm the greatest of the sea. I'm a clownfish. <laughs> that's a fun one, right, Rocky? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good one. Thanks, Leslie, for requesting that song. All right, we are moving through the songs. Doing pretty good. We're so glad that you guys are joining us here. Uh, again, this is C-SPAN. We do it every weekday at 10 a.m., and then it gets posted on the uh, Florida Aquarium uh, website, our uh, Facebook page, YouTube. So make sure you're checking out all those uh, social media sites. Lots of great content coming at you every day here from the Florida Aquarium. Thanks to our sponsor, CIBC, for C-SPAN here in the mornings. And uh, these are Aqua Tunes, songs I've written for and about animals here at the Florida Aquarium. Again, you drive the programming of the show, so whether you're watching this live or later on, go ahead and put a request in the comments. I'll take a look at them throughout the week, and when I get comments, I will we'll put in those songs. If I don't have a song for the animal you request, I might just write one for you, like I did for Isaac this week with whale sharks. All right, now uh, we were up in the Madagascar a couple of weeks ago. We were hanging out with our lemurs. You like lemurs, right? Yeah, you love the lemurs. Pretty exciting. And uh, we've got a song here about lemurs. This is requested by Jennifer. So Jennifer, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, this is all about those uh, lemurs. Here we go. See, I've got my whistling chops this morning. Let's take a trip to Madagascar. It's the fourth largest island on Earth. There's lots of strange creatures to be found on the island with the craziest names ever heard. Like tomato frog and common moth or panther chameleon, satanic leaf-tailed gecko, the Madagascar foddy, and don't forget the fossa, but the coolest one of all. Couldn't be sweeter, you gotta know I'm talking. Sing a song about the lemur, cutest thing in the world. Uh oh, they're the most peculiar creature, our cat dog and squirrel. Let's sing a song about the lemur and how some sing like a whale. Uh oh, cute and cuddly with the stuffy demeanor and the long winded tail. You might think that there's just one type of lemur, but there's over a hundred different kinds. Oh, when you're walking through the jungles of a Madagascar, you never know which one you will find. There's the eye-eye, the injury, the red belly lemur, the hairy-eared dwarf lemur, my favorite. The ring tail, the jolly spouse, the blue-eyed black lemur, oh, we can name them all. That would take forever, so let's sing the name of song together. Come on, Rocky. Let's sing a song about the lemur. Cutest thing in the world. Uh oh. They are the most peculiar creature. Our cat thought it's world. Let's sing a song about the lemur. Sing a song about the lemur, cutest thing in the world. Uh oh, they are a most peculiar creature, our cat on a squirrel. And let's sing a song about the lemur, and how some sing like a whale. Uh oh, cute and cuddly with the snuggly demeanor, and a long pretty tail. Rocky's a Magellanic Penguin. He is from 
uh, South America, Argentina, yeah. And uh, like a lot of penguins, in fact, most penguins, they do live in warm weather, and Rocky's one of them. And uh, that's why he does so well in Florida here. We're glad to have you here, Rocky. Thanks for hanging out and dancing with us so well. Now, uh, our other friend, Tango, is here sometimes. Uh, so we're gonna sing this in her honor, because she's not here today. You're one of your best buddies, Tango. Uh, this is for Laura. She requested a song about the turtles. Here we go. Oh, the green sea turtle is the farmer of the sea. She's eating that sea grass just as happy as she can be. She don't want no trouble, she don't want no fuss. She just wants to chill and share the ocean with us. Oh, turtles, 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 swimming in the sun. Turtles, 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 having lots of fun. Turtles, 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 full of grace and charm. He don't want no fuss He just wants to chill and share the ocean with us Come on! Turtles, turtles, turtles Swimming in the sun Turtles, turtles, turtles Having lots of fun Turtles, turtles, turtles Full of grace and charm Turtles, turtles, turtles Not meaning no one no harm Now the Kemp's ridden the turtle Can't believe his eyes Instead of tasting chilies, he sees plastic floating by. But he don't want no trouble, he don't want no fuss. He just wants to chill and share the ocean with us. Oh, and turtles, 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 swimming in the sun. Turtles, 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 having lots of fun. Turtles, 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 full of grace and charm. Should be quite clear by now. We need to save the ocean, and I'm gonna tell you how. Reduce, reuse, recycle all that plastic stuff that we can chew with the turtles. It ain't so tough to see turtles, turtles, turtles swimming in the sun. Turtles, turtles, turtles having lots of fun. Turtles, turtles, turtles full of grace and charm. So sing this one with me. Uh, this is our last one. Here we go. We love penguins, so short and fabulous. We love penguins, cute and ridiculous. We love penguins, the most unanimous. We love penguins, because penguins rock. Yeah, they do. Their little paper flippers provide them 
Thanks again to our sponsor, CIBC. We'll see you next week, everybody. Stay current. Bye-bye.